One hopes for a vaccine, and that involves the company Moderna. Uh, Meg Terrell has that news for us this morning after an interview with the company's CEO earlier on Squawk Box. Meg. Oh, good morning, David. These are the first human clinical trial results we're seeing of any COVID-19 vaccine, and they are uh, encouraging. However, they are early. Uh, we'll give you the data, but just with some caveats. You know, this is a small trial uh, that was done in uh, relatively young and healthy volunteers. Uh, so there are going to be more questions to be answered in later uh, stages of the trials. But what we saw in this phase one uh, study was a dose-dependent response, uh, meaning the higher the dose, the more of an immune response the participants generated. Um, after two doses, they say all patients developed antibodies to the virus. Eight out of eight patients who were, uh, or participants who were evaluable showed neutralizing antibodies, meaning ones that stopped the virus from being able to, uh, to infect cells. Uh, they did observe antibody levels, they said, that were similar to or higher uh, than those generated by people who've recovered from COVID-19. Uh, overall, they said the vaccine appeared to be generally safe and well-tolerated. Some of the side effects they saw were some immune site, uh, injection site reactions, fatigue, fever at the highest dose, uh, things you do see sometimes with vaccines. Uh, and they say now they plan to start a phase three trial in July. Now, this timeline is incredibly compressed. They just got into human studies in March. And the way that they're doing this is really overlapping uh, the trials. So they're starting the phase two based on the safety data from phase one. Uh, then they plan to start the phase three in July based on the safety data from phase two and the efficacy data generated from phase one to try to guide uh, the doses that they'll select for that trial. Uh, if all goes well, the next question, of course, is going to be manufacturing. They've signed a deal with Lanza to try to manufacture up to a billion doses per year uh, of this vaccine. Uh, and we talked with Stefan Bunsell, the CEO of Moderna, about that on Squawk Box this morning. Here's what he said. We were already, as you know, working on process scale-up. And with our Lanza partnership, we said we could go up to a billion uh, dose per year. What is clear is with this new data, which we just got at the end of last week, we're going to increase our investment in capital equipment, in raw materials, so that we can make as many doses as we can. We know uh, every dose is going to matter. So guys, even as all of these companies are trying to figure out whether they can make vaccines that actually work against COVID-19, a huge question is going to be the supply of those vaccines if they are successful. And the company's chief medical officer saying on their conference call today that demand is going to outstrip supply at the beginning. So it's going to be a major question.